up everyone glad you again when you're playing another game of Catan this time on Catan universe and we are just starting out yells picked a pretty solid spot for his first settlement I'm just looking at the map for the first time right now and he's got a pretty high ore board both the ore spots are on eights but there's only three possible ore spots really to take so I'm thinking I'm not gonna be getting on that eight ore um, what are the other strategies if I'm not going to get any ore? What can I play for here? Can I play for wood port, brick port? Um, the 695 looks really, really beautiful. I mean, that's probably a spot I'll get. And then go towards 341 port there. And possibly even get the 61112 with the wood sheep ore here. Um, if I play here, maybe I could play for wood port. I get strong wood with the 341 port, and then I. Or play for Brickport going this way. Hmm, there's a lot of options. I mean, Blue might just go straight for this spot and let me have the ore. Which I would also be fine with that as well. Because getting some solid ore is definitely a big thing. I could play here and here. I mean, even though these numbers are low, I at least get the whole resource range. Or I can go for a full dev card strat playing on these two spots. If blue ends up going for the 695, which is definitely a possibility. I mean, the production's insane, and they eventually get a. Or they essentially get a free. A completely free longest road card. So, what will they go for? Yeah, green's going ore port, yellow's going. I guess more resources. Maybe they expect this to stay open, which is pretty reasonable. But someone could play on the 692 and then go towards Brickport, which, even though the two spot is lackluster, you keep the Brickport open with a two re two hexes instead of the one hex on just the three. And it's a blocking settlement, so you get some value out of blocking. Ooh, no way that just happened. Wait a second. Okay, well, I think I have to take this ore spot because it's just too good to pass up. But then I might be playing without wheat. I mean, there's no real good wheat spots anyways. Maybe I just play on the wood brick and then the wood ore and go for a 3 for 1 port. I don't see why not. Oh, there's two 3 for 1 ports. Maybe I go for the brick port, actually. I might be able to play for it. If I can build two roads, I can just keep him off the brick port entirely. Okay, so we play here, go right, and then play here. We're playing with three resources, baby. I mean, the numbers are just too good to pass it up. Like, these are some of the best numbers you can possibly get in the game. There's not much better. I literally have 8, 6, 5, 9. The f top four numbers. I mean, even though it's three resources, I'm just going to have so much to give. It'll be ridiculous. And if I can get on this brick port, it'll be game. I, I think it'll be game. Getting on the 6 wheat spot would be amazing. If I could cut him off all the way there with 3 roads, that would be the ultimate scenario. Someone could play on the 910, and I'm ready for that, because even if someone plays on the 910, this road doesn't go to waste, because the 510 is still a nice spot to go on to. And I have another 3 for 1 port here, so I'm not missing out on that 3 for 1 port. I think building twice on this 8 spot is very reasonable. Um, I can see. Let's see where the rest of the plays will be. Um, I can see blue playing. Blue wants brick, obviously. So I can see blue playing on one of these two brick spots here. Oh, never mind. Blue is has a vendetta out against me right now. Actually, you know what? Never mind. It's not a vendetta. Blue has a good idea. Because, well, wait. Is that, well, they get a starting three for one port. And they get wood brick. What's the contract like? Because essentially what they traded in is they they traded in the 5-4 and the 9-10 are the same thing. They're just the brick and the wood are swapped on the numbers. Or the, the pips. The, so, it's... Trading an 11 sheep for a 3 for 1 port. 
And since they have a 9 sheep already, their wood brick ratio is balanced. I think that may have been the smart play, actually. I didn't desperately need that spot, but it, it would have been nice. Now, I think green builds down or left. I don't know if green really wants to fight me for this spot here. Um, I would say green goes down with this. It's really... Yeah. Yeah, he went down with it. The reason why he goes down is because if he goes here, this spot and this spot conflict. So, I think if he plans on getting this spot, then building a road here to go to this spot's useless. And then, if he goes right, he's just going to be racing me, and I have... It might be difficult for him to race me. I don't know what his exact thought process is. Okay, yeah, and then that spot just gets straight up taken, so that was probably his other thought process, too. Okay, 12 comes out early. It's a nice spot here for green to snag, but yellow and green will be fighting on who gets this right here. Okay, we're hoping to build two roads back to back to block blue off. Is blue starting with a road? Okay, blue's starting with a road. So blue can play for the starting road, which would stop my plans of blocking them off the brick fort. I can also try trading for what I need. I mean, someone... Oh, that's not a good start. I'm definitely getting blocked here. Do we see the 5 brick? The 8 ore is also a good spot to block. Unless they don't care about this race. I don't, if, they, if they care about the race for anything, they're going to block me. So what's rolled? I think... Oh yeah, the 5 got blocked. And I get robbed, of course. Hopefully they don't build this road. Um, what are they going for here? It's still doable if they build this road, but it's just... I would rather have no competition for the brick fort. They're really thinking about this one. Okay, hopefully they just have their turn timer stall all the way out. Come on, please. Oh, no, they ended their turn. Let's go. They didn't build the road that they had for whatever reason, but I'm going to take full advantage of that. And build two roads. This brick port's mine. Just gonna mark it as my territory. No one's getting there. I don't really care about the 6, 11, 12. It takes too many roads to build back. I think my main focus should be getting this port here. Even building another road this way might be worthwhile. Just so I can eventually play on the 6 wheat. I think that might be worth... With the eventual idea of playing the 6 wheat here and the 6 2, getting the wood port, and that's definitely a possibility. Oh my goodness. What's up with 12? That is crazy. Okay, so blue cuts me off from that idea, but it is alright. Um, I need sheep and wheat. I mean, we might as well try for it. Maybe someone's that desperate for brick. Brick for sheep? Sure. That's something I needed. Okay, we got the two trades we needed. Now we're just waiting on a 9 to come through for us. Wow, the 2s and the 12s are just something else. 
I wonder if Blue is ever going to go for the Brick Fort. Yeah, I, I was a grand. I was a grandmaster, but now I'm trying to make it back up to the grandmaster rank. I've also been dabbling a bit with colonist.io, going back and forth. But with a tournament feature coming out on Catan Universe, I'm interested on in how that goes out. We'll see. They have some tournaments on colonist.io too. I gotta get involved in those. If you guys didn't know, if you spam a uh, building, it should blow up. Okay, maybe it's like you have to have animations turned on or something. No way. Can I get brick? Probably not. Whew, these low rolls are actually kind of crazy. I got the best probability spots, but it doesn't matter if they don't roll. What on earth? Look, there's three twos and three twelves. Okay, there goes a six, but we don't really want the wood. We want some brick here. I mean, nine has rolled a bunch, granted. But another nine wouldn't hurt. Even some eights to start coming out, too. I mean, just something. Throw us a bone here, Katan. When you have such good numbers like this, that's when you want card stack to be on. Because then you're just guaranteed to be getting a higher amount of resources than everyone else. But when you just have random chance, it, it's kind of rough. But we also could get five wood and then... Four for one trade a bunch of it to get this spot here. Just wish I could turn on the Jeopardy theme song right now. Probably get copyrighted though. Not that I make any money off these videos, anyways. Just post it so you guys can enjoy the games. Okay, there we go. So even if we don't get a nine, we just need another six, four, or three to roll. Okay, no one has or I don't think at least. Because both of these were first settlements, and twelve has been rolling like crazy. But no one has 12 or 2. Whoa. Okay. Five. Oh, that's rough. Um. I don't know what to do here. And I can try to trade wood for brick, but there's no brick in the market. I don't think a 10 is rolled, really. So they don't have brick either. Oh, I can just check statistics. Yeah, 10 hasn't rolled all game. I might as well hold on to my wood. I could trade it away, obviously. You know what I wish I did, actually? I wish I traded my wood away for an ore. That's what I wish I did. So I can just set up for a city later. Or a second wheat. Could have been a possibility. There goes another 6. Okay, yeah, and the other reason is so I don't get 7'd out eventually as well. Just depends what blue rolls here. Hopefully it's a 9. I'm just hoping to roll a 7 on my turn so I can get a free knight, essentially. I'd probably go for blocking the 9 or the 8. I'm leaning towards blocking the 8 just because of the sheer power of it. But just because 8's not even rolling yet, it might not be worth it. The games are determined that 2's and 12's are the 
the numbers of choice. Okay, now we're at risk of getting seven out, and that's not what I wanted here. Okay, blue tr did a bank trade, got a dev card. Looks like they don't have what they need for a settlement. Four? Okay, I'm fine with the four. I'm fine with the four. Let's see if I can do wood for wheat. Anyone interested? Okay, we get our settlement there. Now we have the brick port going. We want to go for this three for one port. Maybe even go for the 510 spot first so I can just increase my brick production. Wood for wheat? Yeah, here. Oh, but I don't want to give them the settlement. I'm not going to trade on your turn. I don't want to give them the settlement. Yeah, you see, now he's missing out on that production every time 11, 12 roll. Yeah, I would have given him an extra wood there. Now he has the wood that he needs, so I'm not going to get that wheat trade, but I think it's just worth it to not, to have him on that missed out production. Because even though I need wheat, I don't need wheat immediately. He needed that settlement immediately, and it would increase his production that turn. If it would have given me a city or something that I could use right away, it would be more valuable to me. And I know that some people like to trade right away for whatever resource they need. Like they look at my position and they're saying, hey, you need wheat, you need sheep, you just trade for it right now while you can. I would say that the lost production that he's getting is just worth it for me because I have such high production. I can forego getting that wheat for now. Because when it comes to my turn, I'm not going to use that wheat for anything. But we'll see if I get forced to four for one trade or not. Okay, blue is using their three for one port to its fullest potential right now. Got his settlement down. Good for him. It's on that nine twelve spot. I doubt that he beats yellow going over here. He's probably just going to want to get to that spot. Okay, finally, that goes off. Um, I think we block the 8 4. I mean, even though it's not rolling, or maybe I blocked the 6 wheat. Steal from blue. What does blue have? 10's rolled a bunch recently. What do they have left over? They might have wood left over, honestly. Oh, I got a wheat. Okay, that's huge. A huge block. And we try wood for sheep. If I can get wood for sheep or wood for wheat, I'm down. Just trade away my wood for anything. If anyone wants to take wood at all, I'm willing to trade. Okay, no one wants wood. Maybe I could try. To, maybe I could have gone for a two for one wood, but there goes an eleven. That's some huge sheep for green and yellow. Hopefully the eights turn on. I think Catan decided to just turn off the eight roll. Okay, green got the seven. What would green do with the seven? Yeah, right there. That's what I was thinking. I can't believe I got robbed though there. Quite surprised. Oh wait, blue doesn't have anything that makes sense. Okay, let's see some fives. Oh, blue uses their knight. Okay. A good force knight. Hopefully, he tosses it on the 8 4. Really, anywhere that, that I'm not on, I'll be happy. 8 or 10 brick, whatever you want to do. 5 wheat, 4 wheat. And it goes back on the 5 brick. No, he stole that wheat. Oh, dude. That's just miserable. Blue's harassing me. I mean, I know I stole from him, but I'm just. He didn't lose out on any production yet. I'm losing out on production.
Wood for weed. Can I get that trade again? I'll just keep trying for it till someone needs it. Come on, what can we get here? Someone help me out. Wood for sheep. Um. Oh, wood for sheep goes through with green. Oh yeah, because he's got two sheep from the 11. And now he's producing three sheep a turn. It makes sense for green to trade away his sheep. 10 again. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, one thing about this channel is that you never know when you click on a video whether I'm going to win or lose. Unless I post it directly in the title, but I'll be posting it. Oh, no. Come okay, wait. He's going for the orb spot. I do not mind that at all. Go ahead, green. Be my guest. If I were green, I would have gone for this orb spot. Because then eventually they can go for that weed spot, too. Once he gets over to this orb spot, it's not as useful. But whatever floats his boat, as long as he's not taking that 510 spot off me, I'm happy. Okay, there's another eight. Did someone rob me again? Oh yeah, I definitely got robbed again. Wow, that's rough. I just cannot catch a break with getting robbed. Might not be the easiest, longest road game since Green cut off this area right here. They'll have a nice connection spot and I'm not gonna have that. I might have to go all the way around somehow. Got a sheep off him. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Thought I can get an ore off him. I, he must have had that ore somewhere. Okay, we have some more wood now. We're still waiting on getting some brick. Sheep for ore, it's tempting. I just need wheat. Let's see if I can get two wheat off him. I don't know if he has two wheat though. He's trying to scout me wood or sheep for a wheat. Oh my goodness, keep getting blocked here.
I'm just stuck between a rock and a hard place, man. I got nothing to do. I have not gotten a single brick for the past 10 or 12 turns, and it's rough. And I'm getting pelted with almost every single robber, too. This is the rough spot to be in. I mean, getting this settlement on the 8th saw will be nice, but then I'm just going to have no more outs. I'll be stuck with 4 settlements, and I'm going to have to build up somehow by my sheer rolling power. Get a city up here on my high production. It's still very doable, but longest road is out the window because I'm just, I have no even outs for just straight up roads. Oh, hopefully we can get another brick. I'm going to have to trade for sheep wheat again. I should have probably start, started trading my ore away to get sheep and wheat. That was a mistake on my end for not doing that during my turn. Every time you have a turn, you have to take the opportunities to fill or trade. Especially when you're in a position like mine where I rely on trading heavily. I know I'm saying this is doable, but green could win this in a few turns, honestly. Yeah, that's a good block. We gotta slow down green. Now blue's waking up to his senses and, and getting off the five brick block every single time. Can I get wheat? Is it possible to get wheat off anyone? I just need a city more than anything. So I can trade wood for wheat, ore for wheat, ore for wheat. And then I can four for one. Or wood for wheat? Come on, I just need something out here. I'll even do a three for one trade. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then we go four. Oh, wait, maritime. City up here. We put it up here instead of on the 8 ore, like conventional wisdom would tell you, because, okay, I know that's not a good showcase of my point, but the 9 and 5 are pretty much wild cards. I can get whatever I want since I have the brick port, and therefore having the city on there will be like a free card each time one of those rolls, which is my reasoning for going there. 
Now we're just banking on the 9 and 5 rolling a bunch. 9's been doing alright, but 5's been struggling a bit. Let's see if we can get second place secured here. If I can get that other settlement done, I'll be happy. See if I can throw away my ore. Someone can go for maybe blue. Okay, it looks like green's going for another settlement on that eight ore spot. But they could also win with a city. Okay, eight, that was a huge block. Green still gets an ore off it though. Okay, what's a GG well played to green? Let's just see who can finish it off. Um, wood for wheat. Just try and trade a little bit for everything if I can. Or for sheep. Just want to get that settlement down so I can get it to five points. Stop losing so bad. Or for anything. Looks like no one's interested in ore. Okay, nine is huge, just a free card essentially. Uh, now, what else is there to do? So I have a free card. I could, I could also go for another city. Do I want to give that to yellow? Does yellow have a settlement? They might have a road settlement. But cheap orders. But then I go over eight cards is the problem. And I don't want to feed to him. Yeah, there you go. He just goes for a dev card. Instead of getting a road settlement, he went for a dev card. Eight again. Okay, not too bad. Another reason why I should have put a city there instead of where I said to put it, but I still stand by my logic though. And I get seven out anyways. Um Throw away a ton of ore. Oh, no, no, no. I I blundered so hard there. That was a massive mistake. Okay, at least green's getting robbed, but why place it there? Just block his four wheat or something. I got stolen from? You've got to be kidding me. That's ridiculous. Oh no, I'm not getting second place. I need to get a city and a settlement down. Just no chance. I'm still surprised he stole from me though. Um. Seven. Let's block green some more. And maybe I should block blue. I'm kind of frustrated with blue from stealing from me. And now I may have just tossed green the game, but that is all right. Yellow could have just beat me there if they got a dev or if they got a victory point. Seven, that is not good. He gets another free card from someone. He knows that yellow just got a I don't know what yellow just got. Okay, they're stealing from blue, which I like. But do they win this turn? Or do we get to wait? Oh, uh, no, there's no way he has road settlement. Okay, good. Okay, blue shouldn't get anything this turn done. Seven. Okay, we block green right here, please. Don't be mad at me and retaliate. Let me just attack number one. Yep. Four. Yeah, that that's rough. 
wood for wheat. Okay, I just want green to trade with me, please. Yeah, I know the ridiculous trades. Just wanted to get something out here. Um, or for wheat. Let's get a one for one. Try to go for the settlements later. No, no, no way. Okay, I'm done. Oh, I just bugged out the game. Mom, we don't want these sixes. We want, I mean, the sixes aren't bad, but it's not what I'm looking for. The green didn't bring his turn, which is nice. Gives me a chance to swing one or two points up. Get out of this hole. Four or five, not what I was hoping for. Lost all of chat from glitching out the game there. They might be at seven points now. This is not. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Of course. Wood for wheat, is it possible? Blue has no cards, so I don't have to worry about him responding. Come on. Yep, sure. Green, take your trade. Just get me my second place, and I'll be happy. Or I get third place, I mean. Just minimize the ELO loss here. I'm going to keep the grind going. Yeah, that's what I possibly could have gone for. I possibly could have tried to give Blue a chance to take longest road off green. But I think I already gave green the game with a city. Oh, now it's definitely over. There's no way he doesn't have a city on him. Is he going for a settlement? Okay, whatever suits him. He's just two for wanting all his ore with his ore port just to flex on us. How much ELO? What's the damage? Ah, uh, it's 10 down. We're back under 1200 again. Most of them were diamonds. Yeah, I mean, well played to them. I think, okay, so what could I have done differently with this game? I ended up with some decent production, but it took too long to set up. What I possibly could have done was not waste this extra road and just try to fight the race the old fashioned way. Um, but let's look at starting settlements. So I chose to get on this A4. So 
the only wheat spots that were available were this 6-2 and maybe playing on the 6-3-11 or the 3-11-10. 3-11-10 would have given me all the possible resources. Hmm. But what are the downsides of playing on the 3-11-10? My numbers would have been a lot worse. 3 didn't roll at all, so I wouldn't have gotten any wheat that whole game. 11 only rolled once, which I'm surprised about. I thought it rolled a few more times. And then 10 rolled 6 times. So, 9, nine and 5 together rolled the same amount as 10 rolled. So essentially what I would have gotten was I would have, if I played here, I wouldn't have gotten anything. So there weren't that many better outs to play for. These The 3 and 11 stayed essentially useless the whole game. I could have possibly played here on the 4-3-8 and then played on this spot, hoping to get the 5-2 or go up towards the 10-9-2 and play for a purely dev card game. And that could have gone better for me, try to control largest army, control a bunch of other things. I think that's what I would have went with differently. The one downside would be leaving this insane wood brick spot open for blue. And that would have just made blue a menace. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.